Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening wherever you are in the world. My name is Stumo98, and welcome to my Mastering Sonic P06 Silver Tropical Jungle Beginner Tutorial. This tutorial is going to cover a beginner route of Tropical Jungle, which basically means I like playing Sonic P06 casually, and I want to try going fast in all of the stages. Before watching this video, I highly recommend watching my Mastering Sonic P06 Beginner Setup Guide as that'll show you all of the settings and tweaks you need to make to the game uh, in order to have a fantastic speedrunning experience. And I highly recommend watching my Mastering Sonic P06 Silver Movement Tutorial because that goes in depth on all of the abilities that Silver, Amy, and Blaze can do. I am going to be referring to those abilities in this video, so again, highly recommend watching that one. This video is going to be broken up into two sections, with the first section being a no-commentary run of Tropical Jungle, for those who just want to look at the route and try to learn themselves, and the second portion is going to be me commentating over it, doing rewinds, pauses, and all of that to explain exactly what's going on, and there will also be a gamepad in the bottom left especially if you use an Xbox controller, that will be quite beneficial for you guys. To all of the people that recommended me different media players for the commentary portion, I think I'm going to stick with the VLC media player. I tried the other ones that were suggested and it just didn't flow as well. If we have some visual noise, that's not a problem. I'm just going to rewind it. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into Silver Tropical Jungle. Enjoy. Alrighty, welcome to the commentary portion of this tutorial where I am going to be uh, pausing, playing, rewinding, all that stuff to explain what exactly is going on in Silver's Tropical Jungle here for this beginner route. So beginning at the very start, we are simply just going to run forward and then jump over onto this Lotus. Now an interesting thing about this is that if you are using a controller, you can literally just press the RT button and let go and Silver will automatically get max height off of this Lotus. I'm not 100% sure and someone can correct me if, in the comments if they know, but I believe if you are playing on keyboard, uh, you actually do have to hold the button all the way down and let the Lotus like sink into the water and then blast you up. But thankfully, since we're playing on controller, we don't have to worry about that. So we're just gonna press RT and we're going to hover here once we land on this um, island here, we are going to run over and hug these boxes. As you see, just for a little bit there, after I jump off the Lotus, I go right next to those boxes. That's important because that is going to give us a jump up to the top there. A little bit of noise. Go ahead and show it one more time. Going to jump up on top of this firebox here. Now you do have a bit of a time limit because there's an enemy, as you can see right there, that is going to try to shoot us, and because we are using a firebox to do our uplift object, uh, it could shoot a missile at it and blow the box up, which would be really bad. So we are on a bit of a time limit here as we jump onto this box and then do an uplift object to raise silver up to a higher point. And then we're gonna jump off of that object and then kind of feather the A button to hover over to this section uh, of the ruins, pretty much above most of the level design the creators wanted you to go through. So one more time here. We are going to jump, press RT on the Lotus, hover over here, 
jump up on top of this firebox, do an uplift object, jump off of that, and then feather our hover button so that we can preserve as much action gauge as possible and get onto this part of the ruins. On this part here, we are going to run with silver until we hear that ping. That means our action gauge is full. And then we are going to do a teleport dash over to this checkpoint. So one more time here, just wait till it's full, then do a teleport dash over to the checkpoint. Then we are just going to run once more to make sure we have full action gauge meter. Once again, waiting for that ping before we jump to the next platform. Then right here, we are going to do a teleport dash over to this kind of cross section with the vine on top of it. This one is a little bit tight. As you can see, I barely have any action gauge meter left. If you're having an issue landing on it, I recommend hovering. Uh, you can't make it if you hover from this platform here. But if you teleport dash, let go, and then hover, that'll allow you to be a little bit more precise when it comes to landing on this cross section here. A little bit of noise, so we'll just watch it one more time. Now this is probably the most crucial section of the stage. We are going to wait for our action gauge to fill up all the way, and then we are going to do a teleport dash into this ball. Now, when you hit the ball, you should have a little bit of action gauge left over, as you can see in the bottom right there. You want to activate a hover once again. If you don't do that, you are very likely to miss landing on the platform that the ball was sitting on and basically just fall down, which completely messes up the route. So we're just gonna do a teleport dash. Once we hit the ball, we're gonna initiate a hover to use the rest of our action gauge meter and land on the platform that the ball was on. Then we are going to wait for our action gauge to refill once more, do a jump over and a teleport dash straight over to this platform. After we do that, we are going to just run over here, do a teleport dash over to these enemies, use a psycho shock to stun them all. Here, I'll go ahead and remove the noise there. Use a psycho shock to stun them all, and then a grab all, which is double tapping RT twice, to destroy all the enemies in one single hit take the spring, and then take ourselves right over to the goal ring with one final teleport dash. Very short stage, very fun to run. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope that it was helpful for you. Thank you all so much for watching. Have yourselves a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.